What's up guys, it's Dexter here. I kind of just wanted to talk about what I've been doing, my whole thought process behind why I pretty much quit playing Hearthstone. Um, now I know Raren's planning on making a video on this already. We have a pretty cool corrupt priest list here. I was playing this big warrior and I uh, had a lot of fun. I really do enjoy big warrior. It's kind of been an archetype I always revisit. All right, so I was having a good time playing this blood priest. Someone on Reddit got legend with this Agewind mage, so I thought I'd take a look and it did feel solid. We ended up going eight and four, almost 69%. If you did not know who that was, that was Dexter. Dexter was one of the premier Hearthstone YouTube content creators specializing in off-meta decks and was a pretty awesome guy. But what seemed out of nowhere, Dexter stopped uploading to his Hearthstone YouTube channel and seemingly disappeared from the Hearthstone scene. The reason why he left may shock you, but you're about to find out. Dexter grew up playing video games and he did dabble in some card games when he was younger, playing Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but mainly only collecting the cards themselves rather than playing it. Dexter didn't really start playing card games until he got into Hearthstone. When he first tried Hearthstone, he played it for a bit in Curse of Naxxramas, but only to return for Journey to Angoro in April 2017. Dexter began uploading videos to his YouTube channel on April 17th, 2017, and also started streaming on Twitch around the same time. Like most content creators, Dexter wanted to make this his full-time job, and he was able to become a Twitch partner on September 15th, 2018. Dexter grew exponentially better at what he was doing and became a phenomenal content creator and built a community that loved him for it. Dexter had this great appeal of being a very chill guy while also being extremely entertaining. Dexter was arguably one of the most likable Hearthstone content creators we've ever had, and it's kind of unfortunate that he doesn't stream anymore because I really liked it there. Just play all these. This really doesn't do much. I think I have to tap here, right? Tap in the nether. Double Cthulhu, I die because this does not die. This kills this, lands on the maniac. Easy, dude. Easy. It's actually lethal. This might be the luckiest game of my life. Dexter would end up streaming on Twitch almost every single day and was uploading a daily off-meta deck on his YouTube channel. And that's how Dexter became extremely popular. He was posting a lot of off-meta decks that a lot of people wouldn't even dare to try, and Dexter was doing extremely well with them. People would go to Dexter's community saying, you should try my off-meta deck. Dexter would make it better and post a YouTube video on it. But a lot of that changed as Hearthstone grew into a different game. Hearthstone became a lot more linear when it came to deck building and just how games played out and when you're an off meta deck builder it becomes a lot harder to find interesting stuff that doesn't just die immediately. Dexter still managed to find decks to play in an off meta fashion and with the help of his amazing community build new and interesting decks that he could post on his YouTube channel. And even though the meta was affecting his mindset when coming and posting Hearthstone gameplay that was not the first thing that came to mind when he wanted to stop playing Hearthstone. Dexter was way more focused focused on something outside the Hearthstone realm and was occupying his mind much more than what the meta was. So basically this all started because my grandma was in really bad health. She was put on hospice. They told her, you know, things weren't looking good. Because his grandma was in poor health, Dexter decided to pull away from content creation and focus more time on his family and spending time with them. Because of this, Dexter did not feel like he was adequate enough to know the meta and build interesting and off meta decks. New expansions and stuff were coming out and I didn't have the time to commit to really learn these and I always feel like uh, what I'm able to do is is play off meta stuff uh, build decks that are really fun that do pretty well in the meta and because Dexter felt like he couldn't create off meta decks and provide great content he decided to step away from YouTube and Twitch to solely focus on his family felt like I just wasn't providing good streams good content so I kind of just released a tweet saying grandma's not doing good don't know when I'll be making more content, something along those lines. This happened about halfway through United and Stormwind. Mercenaries was released and Dexter did do a couple of videos on that, but then there was a huge break about a month until he uploaded another video and then another huge break in between until he got invited into the theory crafting stream for Alterac Valley. And for Dexter, that meant that this was the perfect time to come back to Hearthstone content creation because with a new expansion, that means there's going to be 
be a brand new metagame and Dexter can just learn the game from there. As Dexter was preparing himself to become a full-time content creator again, his grandma took a turn for the worst. Theory crafting happened. I came back just for the theory craft. I uploaded a few videos. Things were going great. And then I got, uh, you know, they, they said more more news about my grandma. My grandma was doing really bad. They gave her a time frame of hours to weeks. I think it was hours to two weeks is what they said. So I was like, OK, I'm going to stop streaming. I'm going to spend time with family. I'm going to be there for my family. Because of this tragic news, Dexter had to stop making Hearthstone content again and focus on his family until he got some very unfortunate news. Um, my grandma did end up living 13 days. She didn't make it to two weeks. She made it to 13 days and then she passed. And it was really hard on my family. It was like the first big loss that I have ever experienced. Uh, but I really wanted to be there like for my mom, my uncle, and just be able to help out. Um, so yeah, didn't stream too much, but she did pass December right before Christmas. So couldn't really celebrate Christmas much. Uh, just felt weird. New Year's also just weird. And it was also like her birthday. She didn't make it to her birthday which was the 29th of December. But anyway, all this happened. Um, the funeral finally happened uh, early February, which is a, um, a couple weeks ago, maybe, at the time of me recording this video. Now, as sad as that news was for Dexter, that was not the only reason he decided to step away from Hearthstone content, like I mentioned before. My grandma, while she was a huge factor, I think there were other factors at play. Um, one of them being that I didn't, really i wasn't enjoying hearthstone at the time and i wasn't sure if it was burnout because i was doing about a video a day for uh, almost five six years um or if the state of the game just wasn't that good and i think maybe it was a combination of both but i do know for for one that pretty much any content creator i talked to i didn't know if it was an echo chamber uh, but it just wasn't as fun for like off meta deck builders now i do understand a lot of people were enjoying the heck out of the uh the linear game mode i don't know what hearthstone looks like now but a lot of people were enjoying it which is fine just not the kind of hearthstone that i personally enjoy i i enjoyed playing off meta stuff that would do well Hard not only was dexter not having YouTube fun with the hearthstone metagame but for Twitch. the youtube side hearthstone of things when a metagame is that linear craft. it really affects youtube growth and money dexter ended up trying out battlegrounds and mercenaries so but ended up with the problem that a lot of his community job, did not want to watch it so he ended up losing more viewership and again more revenue my off meta deck videos were going down in views like 14 to 20,000. Whereas in the past, I was getting a normal, you know, 30 to, to 40,000, which might seem like I'm being a bit whiny, crybaby ish. Uh, but ultimately, it just results in like the, the bottom line is your, your finances are impacted, which is kind of just how content creation is. So I started trying to shake things up. Solomon and I ended up doing expansion showdown, thinking it would be evergreen content. We both probably spent like one to two thousand dollars out of our own pockets for this. And we basically lost a lot of money. But I tried I tried shaking up the content. I did uh, Wheel of Hearthstone, which was another series with Solemn, and it did okay, but my normal videos were doing better. Um, and again, it just didn't seem worth the effort. For example, these decks are grimy, which seems to be the last one I made. It got me $127 over the entire duration from its release up until now. Um, now, considering this probably took Solomon and I four hours each, I did pay him for this. Uh, and then the editing took quite a bit of time. It ended up being like I was just being paid way under minimum wage. Again, seems like I'm whining a bit, but I'm just, I'm, I, at this point, I'm noticing a decline. On top of wanting to be there for my family, Hearthstone not being as fun as it was, and finances going down, viewership going down, I just felt like I had to do something else. With Hearthstone content creation, it's really freaking hard to make evergreen content. Now, I could let Dexter ramble on about Hearthstone content creation, but he is entirely right. Making evergreen content is impossible in Hearthstone. And I have tried the last month to make really good videos, but it doesn't really make a difference. Evergreen Hearthstone content does not really exist. Because of this, Dexter decided to move on to a different form of content creation, and he is doing much better. Uh, if he made it 
to watching to the end here. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, good luck on ladder and stay hydrated. Shout out to Dexter for sending me the video he was going to release on his own. It made this video a lot more personal, and I thought I would add my own personal touch here at the end. Dexter, I think you're going to watch this video at some point, so I just want to say thank you so much. You are literally the reason why I'm here right now, and you probably inspired a bunch of brand new content creators for the Hearthstone scene. Without you, I don't know where I would be. Maybe I'd be dead in a ditch. Who knows? Uh, thank you, man. I only hope the best for you. I only hope you're doing okay, and if you ever need anything from me, let me know. I just want to say you're an incredible person. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription and a comment below letting Dexter know that you're there and you love him, whatever you want to say, because I'm sure he'll read these comments. I'll see you in the next one.